So uh, we're gonna take it back to the uh, we're gonna take it back to the game room, man. Can you name some of those legendary artists from New Orleans that you might have went head to head with out there? Uh, well, I'm always say juvenile because I respect juvenile. Yeah, and um, I like juvenile style. And at that time, he wasn't that big. He was, you know, he was under DJ Jimmy. You know, like, DJ Jimmy was like the full thing. So, you know, Julie was just had like one hot song, but his song was hot. And you know, I'm still just ripping they Trigger Man beat. Mm -hmm. So, you know, like, it was like Juvie, and um, um man, it, it, it was so. It amazing. was a lot of them. I but, watched then, up a lot of them. But see, the hard part is that a lot of them pass. Mm -hmm. You know, and and you know, like they they legacy. You know, I don't know where it went from there because, like, you know. Like say for instance, they had Sporty T, Sporty T and his whole crew, you know, like Take Four, you know, they had um, Miss T, they had Pimp Daddy, they had um, Cheeky Black, you know, she came in the end, mm -hmm. but you know, like they had the dancers, um, uh, DJ Jubilee and his dancers. Like, like I say, I came in dancing. Yeah, yeah. So, you know, I went through all that with them. Like, I came up with a little dance to knuckle up and, you know, they called it the crazy man and, you know, they never called it the big head, you know. Like, that's so, what they should have called right, it. Right, right. That's what they right. should have called because it. Because in the dog. game room, that's what they called it. Yeah, yeah. The big head dude, but, you know, they didn't want, they just didn't want me to revolve, bro. I don't know why. Facts. I don't know. Okay, so... We're gonna go back to uh, Lee Lucas. What year, not, not year, but what age did you really start rocking with Lee Lucas, man? Ooh, Lee Lucas, bro, like, it's crazy because, um, like, I, I helped him and he helped me because he was in a situation, I wanna say, I don't know if it was his or if the people he was with, but, they ran through our schoolyard, and the police was chasing him because he lived right behind the school, Dufrock Elementary. So he ran through the schoolyard, and a few people ran through the schoolyard, the police ran through the schoolyard, so they screaming, you know, all the children get in, he got a gun, he got a gun, he got a gun. I, it wasn't nothing new to me. So. I'm knowing that, you know, Lee Lucas' name was already ringing. I knew who stayed at that house and all this and all that. I knew, you know, his mom, his grandfather, all of them was famous already just, you know, just by being their self, you know, some real popular people. And um, when I saw that, I felt like I was one of them then. So I didn't pay attention to what other children were doing, running, panicking, screaming, all that. I tried to see what was going on, so I ended up seeing a gun. And I knew they was trying to get us inside so they can take them to jail because I want to say they had him in the car once he got to his house. They put him in the car. You know, like, he like, I'm at home, I don't got nothing. They're like, nah, you're going to jail. But anyway, they guess they was looking or whatever. But I picked the gun up and took the gun in the school. And, um... Uh, once again, placed it in someone's else book sack. And um, for some reason, they, they came and harassed me a little bit, you know, asked me about it. And I was like, nah, I don't know nothing y'all talking about. So then, once they bagged up, I went on and got it and just left. And um, took it home. I'm, th I'm looking at it like it's worth something. So when I took it home, and like the first person that said something about it, I gave it to him, and I got honored from men with hand-me-downs, you know, from Lee, from Derek Swanson, from, you know, the people who had the good hand-me-downs, the ballets, the travel fox, the, you know, 
the use and all that. Like I was getting that then, so I was still poor. I was still struggling, but I had a little help because I had some hand me downs that made me look like a little hustler because of that. So that made my relationship with Lee grow. He knew me as a little boy, and I had a situation with Fred Hayes. So it's like the big dudes in the hood knew of me. And they just thought I was another little person from around them and just just jumped off the porch, you know? So from there, like I was like one of the lead little soldiers from the gate, you know what I'm saying? Like I've been knew them from a little boy and you know, but jail and stuff like that, mm -hmm. like took it to that, you know, jail in, you know, is where it ended, you know, because he's still in there, you know, hopefully he'll be out one day. Yeah, but he's yeah. still in there, you know what I'm saying?